Mr. Jocelyn, I actually wanted to ask you a question about you indicated um, and, and I think suggested that the penalty of three year, a misdemeanor of three years and, and whatever for someone who's got a carry permit, if they violate the terms of their carry permit, that that is a new penalty. Was that what you had said? No, ma'am. It, it's not a new penalty. It is a penalty for a crime that previously did not exist. The language was added to SB 281 that made it a crime to carry a firearm when you have a carry permit, but you were carrying outside the parameters of your restrictions. For example, if you have a restricted permit that lets you go from your home to your garage, so, and they find you down the street at the 7-Eleven, you would be outside the parameter of your carry permit. If you were arrested and charged with that, you could receive a penalty up to three years. And it is not the penalty you received, but the penalty you could have received is where things really break. And therefore, if you received any penalty whatsoever, any conviction, you would then have your firearms rights lifted for the rest of your life. However, if you were in fact carrying a weapon, concealed weapon, before 281 goes into effect, and you were doing it outside the parameters, you don't think that would have been a breach of existing law? Well, it certainly is, but the people who are doing that don't care. When you're already a felon, what do you care about a three-year sentence? Okay, no, I'm suggesting that the, it, the current law says that the section that we're talking about when you can wear and carry a gun doesn't apply if you're wearing, carrying, or transporting a handgun by a person to whom a permit to wear, carry, or transport the handgun has been issued under the appropriate section. The only thing that Senate Bill 281 added was that you have to be doing it in compliance with any limitation imposed under 5-307. So I'm not exactly sure why this is all of a sudden something new and different. It's new and different because oddly enough, in the past, there was no criminal penalty for carrying beyond the restrictions on your carry permit. Now there is. I'm not exactly sure how that would possibly be the case. If you've got a carry permit with restrictions, the penalty section didn't change and applies to all of the same earlier parts of the code. But the language including carrying outside your permit never existed prior to 281. So if you had a carry permit and you were carrying outside the parameters of your permit, that was okay? It wasn't okay, but the, the most the state police could do was pull your permit. And in now, practice, now they can prosecute you and you could receive up to three years. Okay, well we may disagree, I respectfully disagree that if in fact the statute said you can carry and you have a carry permit and it's defined and you do out and you're carrying it outside of it, I think that you could be charged. And I think this was clarifying only. But you, you could be charged, but there was no penalty assigned to it. Actually, we didn't assign it just to this. It's the same penalty that's assigned to the entire section or the entire, entire subtitle. There was no change in the penalty. But we, we disagree.